Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Code for Kids. How are you all? How was your day? I hope you are enjoying your day. So in this video, we are going to learn about snowman video sensing game. Okay. So for this game, we will require our video motion. Okay. Because with the help of our motion, what will happen? The snowman will move. Okay. So for that, what we need to do? We have to just click on this. You add an extension and from here we will add our video sensing. So once you will add your video sensing, you will get your video inside your stage area. After that, we will require to add a sprite. So for that, we need to go to choose a sprite. Here we will search for snowman. You will get the snowman. And we have to add two snowflake. Okay. So what we will do? We will add two snake, snowflake and one snowman. Okay. After that, what we are going to do? First, we will start a coding for your snowman. Because see, as you can see, when I am moving my hand, what will happen? Snowman will move with the help of my motion. Okay. So after that, even uh, first we can stop this so as you can see for snowflake we will add a code like snowflake will come according like from your y direction your y axis but we want for snowman like a with the help of our motion snowman can move okay so how we will start that so first thing we need to add our video sensing for that we will just go to add extension select your video sensing here and for the snowman what we want to do when flag is clicked we want to set a rotational style for this snowman as you can see for left to right okay after that what we want here if this video motion is greater than 10 so where you will get that this inside your control first we need to add this forever after that we have this if block after forever we need to take this if what we are going to do here if your video sensing is greater than 10 okay so we need to just go to the operator we will add this here and just go to video sensing from here we will add this okay and instead of 50 we need to just write 10 here if that is greater than 10 so we have to move 10 step for this no man okay so where we will get that inside the motion we have moved 10 step after that we want costume because in the costume, if you will see, we have a two snowman costume. This is our first one and this one is the second. Okay. So we want to change the costume here if there will be age. Because in the stage area, we have this ages. Okay. So if snowman will reach here, again, we want to return back. Okay. So this is our logic for your snowman. After that, we have our second part for snowman when flag is clicked. So we want to create one variable because variable act as a container, the snowman motion. So how we will create a variable, you know, you need to just go to this variable section. We will just click on make a variable, write on your variable name. We want to make a variable, which is your motion. Okay. So in the forever, we need to just go to the variable set motion to your video sensing motion on sprite. This logic we will add for the snowman. Okay. Now let's see snowflake. Okay. So for the snowflake, what we are going to do when flag is clicked. So initially we want to hide this snowflake as you can see. Okay. But after some time, what we want here, we want to show the snow flag. Because in the forever, so how you will get your forever? In the control, we have this forever. Now, we need to just go to the motion. We will take, add this random. Random means randomly, you will get your snow flag at any position. Okay, inside your stretch area. 
and we want to set our y to 180 because if you will take your snow flag here you will get y around your 179 to 180 so we have to set this because this is our axis this is our y axis and this one is our x axis so for snowflake we want from top to bottom top to bottom okay so that's why we need to add y position to 180 and then we will show the snowflake we will repeat this 72 time only. Miss, you, you will get your snow flag only 72 time. And then we want to just change the Y because we want to fall down from here, from here to here, or from here to here, or from here to here like that. And again, when flag is clicked, in the variable, okay, inside your variable, so which variable we are going to select here, like your motion, if your video sensing motion on the sprite, okay? And same thing we need to do for your snow flag too. So you need to just create your coding one time. You can just right click here, duplicate this. So you, as you can see, now we have a three snowflake. So you will get three snowflake. See, your uh, snowman will get motion snowman will move okay so this logic we are going to use here if you want to build your video sensing snowman project okay so thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe our channel and try this project what you can do after trying this project, just copy your project link and share with me in the comment section. And please write down in the comment section how was this video, okay? So, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon if you want more latest update. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care.